Hi, this is Handy Doctor. Today, I am going to show you how to change the front seal of a Whirlpool washer. Um, now you may say, why do I need to change it? Well, if you, the washer leak water, maybe that thing is broken, you can inspect it. Now, it's not easy to take picture of that, but I can show you something a little bit later on. Or, by the way, sometimes you find out some fine rubber particle on your laundry that actually tell you the front seal is about to become broken. And let me show you how to change it. So what am I talking about? Which one is the front seal? So this is the front seal. This is the front seals of the uh, washing machines. And this is again Whirlpool. Now, by the way, there are several different variations of Whirlpool front loading washers and the front seals are slightly different. Uh, this is the one that work on my washer. You can get from Amazon for about $90 for genuine parts. You can get it slightly cheaper for aftermarket ones. I don't mind if you get aftermarket one or genuine one, you know, it's all your choice. I do suggest though is that you check with the seller and make sure it is the one that fit with your washer. The procedure is basically the same, but the parts may be slightly different. Uh, this is the link to my seal that I need for my washer. Again, it may not fit with your washers. Um, I also provide a link in the descriptions to Amazon that you can get from that is the same link as this one as a matter of fact. So let's get started. First of all, be safe. Okay, you are respons re responsible for everything you do today and I guess in the future too, no matter what you do, I think. Uh, so make sure you unplug the power. Okay, unplug the powers. Also turn off the hot and cold water supplied. Definitely do that before you do anything. Then what should you do? Uh, first thing first, you need to take the upper panel off. And what you need to do here is three screws out here. They are quarter size screws. And what you can do is you basically use a multi-bit screwdriver don't put any big into it, just use the hat and turn them in this way and they will just come off. Okay. In fact, most of the screws on these washers use the quarter inch screws like this. Just do it in this way. After you take the three screws out, you basically can just put your hands on top and slide it to the back. And after that, as you can see, the upper panel is off. So that is your very first step. Very easy for the first step, as a matter of fact. Now, you want to take the doors off the washer too. How do you do it? Again, quarter size screws, just untie them, and then basically just lift the door out and put it aside. Next step, now we want to take the seal off from the front panel and there is a tensioner, a spring roll tensioner that you need to untie. So what, can you, what you can do is you want to insert a screwdriver and basically just pry it off very easy, just pry the tensioner off and now the seal will come out from the front panel. Next step, you want to take the detergent tray out and there's no screws as a matter of fact uh, there is a tap here here is the tap what you need to do is you want to depress on the tap and then you can just slide it out okay you can slide the detergent tray out as a matter of fact part of the reason you want to get this one out is there is a screw here that you need to take out okay so next step you want to take that screw out, the one I just point on the previous page. Uh, this is not a 
quarter size screw any more this is a toss bit it's a t15 so make sure you have some toss bit handy your washer may not use t15 as a matter of fact so just do it accordingly just take it out uh, there's another toss bit here which is below the control panel as you can see here is a control panel don't you okay so below the control panel also untie that one and then and lift the control panels out it may not be really easy because there are a couple of tap here and there's some tap on the other side but there's no more screws at least on my model you should be able to lift it up be careful and be patient but it should come up quite easily there are obviously electronic ball inside so be careful don't break anything uh, you do not need to unplug the wires at least i did not okay you basically can just flip and then put it on top of the washer now okay next step next step you need to lift the washer up because otherwise it's difficult to get accessible to the four screws on the bottom okay the several one on the buttons so lift it up and support it here i use a small stool you do whatever you feel comfortable with the washer is heavy so if you need help definitely get help don't hurt yourself please uh, okay so just take out those four screws again they are quarter size and then you can basically just drop the lower panel up here uh, at this moment you will expose the drain pump if you haven't done that for a while as a matter of fact you know what you just open it why don't we just do it i would suggest you open the drain pump and look inside you may be surprised to see there are a lot of junk inside and that will make your washer less efficient um, how to do it i in fact have another videos show you how to clean it i will provide a link in the description please go to check that once and your washer will be happier and you will be happier too i assume so please go check it um, the next step uh, you will need to take the front panel off but before you do that we need to uh, remove partially at least the door locking mechanism and there are two screws here one and one here both of them are toss bits so just untie them put the screws somewhere safely and then uh, this piece well you can just push it to the behind okay and you can hang it out there no problems now let's take the front panel up this thing is quite heavy so when you walk on it make sure you support it somehow like use your other hands and anyhow it this tied it onto the machine by four quarter size screws again this is the one on the upper right corner and you have another one on the lower right corner and you obviously have another two on the left side just take all those four out and then the front panel can come off again it's heavy kind of heavy and may have sharp edges so be careful don't drop if you drop on your feet it definitely will hurt so be careful but the procedure is pretty easy okay now we can have a better look at the seal so this is the problem on my washing machines you see it's a big opening out here and that's why it leak water and those are the powder i told you earlier some very fine rubber powders and they can go on to your clothes looks kind of nasty now, if you see your clothes have something like this well you know the rubber seal is about to become broken buy a new one now and replace it as soon as possible or wait until it leak water it will be soon trust me okay so as you can see 
big hole here and this is another view of it um, so let's take it out how to do that well you already took uh, out the tensioner from the outside the one that hold on to the front panel now we need to take the tensioner off from the tank and this tensioner is not spring roll it's in fact use a screws so you just untie the screws it's much better design by the way until it's untied enough and you basically can just take it out super easy okay so take the tensioner off and then take the seal off okay so it came off and that is the tank okay that is the tank now let's look at the tank by the way uh, it is over here it is plastic by the way at the end i will tell you that you need to cover this plastic with the rubber seals otherwise it will destroy your laundry this is the part i'm talking about at the end it doesn't it's not easy to see but over here you see that one okay this is plastic and it can have sharp edges so we have to cover it and the seal will provide a proportion that will cover it so now as you can see this is my old seal this is my new seal they are not exactly the same color but i guess the color changes over time um, make sure make sure you compare carefully that they are in fact the same seal otherwise you might have to take it apart later on okay so it is the right one for me so let's put it back on no not so quick there's one more thing you need to do at least for me uh, there are two concrete blocks out here the two blocks are used to stabilize the washer you need to take them off otherwise it's very difficult to put the seal on now just now we can take the seal off without taking the concrete block off but the opposite is very difficult because the space is really tiny unless you have super super tiny fingers i don't think that will work uh, the two concrete blocks are heavy but it's not difficult to take them off uh, each of them have three half inch size screws the middle one is longer and the other two are shorter just untie them and then take them out it's heavy so be careful you support them the two pieces are the same so you don't really need to distinguish one from another at least on my washer yours might be slightly different so take them out this is now how your washer look like and now let's put the seal back uh, the seal will have the marks say this is up and of course on the bottom say down so you need to put the upside on top the downside on the bottom so you basically align the upsides to right in the middle of the tank and then try to put the seal on the tank and make it snugly fixed everywhere uh, at the beginning it may be a little bit difficult but it's getting easier and easier trust me okay so until it fixed snugly then what do you do well you put the tensioner on the the one with the screws and then tie the screws until it is tight until you're comfortable with so that's the first step and then of course you want to put the two concrete block back now okay put the two concrete block back now this is what i did and then what and then you can put the front panel back remember there are four quarter size screws just put them back and tie them and this one is critical this one is critical the mechanism to detect whether your door is closed or not make sure you put them back in screw them before you do anything else don't forget that people tend to forget that sometimes as a matter of fact okay so after that you now want to put the seal onto the door just like what you did just now onto the tank 
make sure that it fit everywhere snugly everywhere snugly again at the beginning it's difficult but when you put pieces and pieces together it becomes easier and easier trust me okay now what now you need to put the tensioner on and this is the most difficult part of the job unfortunately you like it or not this is the most most difficult part of the job so what happened well the tensioner is tight well i guess it should be tight anyhow otherwise water may leak so it is not easy to extend it and obviously you, it only work you when you extend it on top of the seal so quite often when you extend the tensioner you will basically take the seal off from the front panel and it's very annoying make you stress out but what i would suggest is what is be patient be patient you can do it uh, there are other video online show you how to do this um, some of those ones use a clamp and say it's at least from their video it looked really easy to do i tried to replicate it it wasn't that easy it wasn't that easy so maybe you have better luck than me but i tell you the truth this is how i do it okay uh, the best idea is get two extra hands ask somebody else for to help you especially you never done this one before okay the trick here is that when you extend the tensioner a uh, little bit by little bit the other two hands need to make sure that you hold down the tensioner and the seal and nothing comes up and then you can just do it towards this direction bits by bit okay so here and there now obviously those are not hands those are actually my feet so i did it myself with my two feet it was not easy okay it wasn't easy but you can do it i i did it okay so like i said i use my two feet as if they are my two hands and then when i extend the tension a bit by bits my feet just move towards the middles of course it is tight so you need a plier to grab the tensioner and hopefully it will fit onto it it may take several tries so again be patient this is the most difficult part again the most difficult part but after you finish one you basically done okay it, it is fun by the way it is fun uh, when you think you're done make sure that you check everywhere make sure the seals really indeed fit onto the front panel everywhere and so does the tensioner it has to fall on top of the seal everywhere everywhere so make sure you double check triple check before you go forward okay this is the part i'm talking about remember i told you earlier uh the tank and over here is the plastic piece it has edges and sharp edges that can sometimes destroy your clothes you need to fold the seal to cover it okay so uh and the the plastic run for the entire tank as a matter of fact i took this picture when i almost finished so i finished this portion over here and that portion over there already it's a, a small piece exposed and i show it to you okay so uh you just fold it fold it in that direction kind of like that to cover it pieces by pieces at the beginning again it's difficult but uh, it's getting easier and easier and eventually it will cover everywhere you still see the metal one but the plastic one should be covered okay okay now you're basically done you're basically done what else do you need to do well uh you obviously need to put the detergent tray back put the door back and then put the upper panel back and the lower panel back and great job so this is the procedure to replace the seal of a <coughs> whirlpool washing machines if you like these videos please like and subscribe and i will have more video in the futures
Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.